was a bad in the padma purana the story is there he was habituated to kill animals bad you know hunter so he was killing so many animals half dead so narad muni was passing through that forest he was very much angry who is this rascal killing this animals half and they are flapping out of painful condition let me see this rascal So he searched out this bad hunter. The bad was very busy in his hunting. So he thought, because after all, Narad Muni is a Vaishnav. After seeing him personally, his heart was immediately little clarified. So he offered respect. Sir, you have come here for some tiger skin or deer skin. I shall give it, but don't disturb in my business. Please let me do my business. So Narad Muni said, "All right, you do your business, but one thing I request: why you are not killing these animals all at a time? Why you are killing half? It is great sin." Then it stuck to his brain. Sin? What is this sin? Then he discovered the effects of sin. Then he said, "I have been taught my father to do this business. See, if I do not do this business, how shall I live?" So Narad Muni said, "If I guarantee your living, would you give me out this business, this profession? So why not? If I give my living means, then I can give up." So it was agreed that he will give up his business of hunting. And Narad Muni said that I will give you all necessities of your life. Come on. So uh, it is a long story. I am making short part. So Narad Muni asked him. That you sit down on this bank of Ganges, and here is the tulsi plant. You worship it, and I will send your food. Don't be worried. So next morning, it was declared in the village that genius hunter has become a bhushna. So people generally they are inquisitive. They came to see. It is the custom when you go to see a saintly person, you take some fruits or flowers or some rice or from hata. So huge sack of rice and atta and fruits and flowers. They were surprised. Why Narad Muni is sending so much? We are simply husband and wife. In this way, they become Vaishnava. And after some time, Narad Muni with his friend Parvat Muni, he wanted to see his devotee. So he asked Parvat Muni that, my dear friend, will you come with me? I shall show. My devotee who was formerly a hunter, so Parvat Muni knew that you can play wonderful. So let me see this devotee. So when Narad Muni was coming, this devotee was going to receive the spiritual master. This is the custom to receive the spiritual master from distant place with all honor by bowing down. But he was jumping. He was jumping. So when he came near. The Padmavat Muni first of all asked him, "My dear son, you are a great devotee, but while coming here, why you are jumping?" He said that on the ground there are so many ants, so I do not want to kill these ants. This is the effect of devotional service. The same man who was taking pleasure by killing one animal half dead, he is not prepared to kill even an ant. This is called bhakti. Jee shasti bhakti bhagavati akinchana sarvai gunai tattva samasate sura. If one becomes a devotee of the Lord, akinchana bhakti, then sarvai gunai all good qualities will come out automatically. Because every living entity is part and parcel of God. God is all good. Therefore. Every living entity, potentially, constitutionally, he is also good. As God is good, we are also good. But due to our material association, we have become bad. So if we revive our old position, Krishna consciousness, then automatically we shall become all good. This is Krishna consciousness moment. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has recommended that for Chaitanya Dharma Marjanam. 
Mama Mahadava Agni Nidbhapana. If you want to see the to stop this blazing fire of material existence, then you have to spread this Krishna consciousness movement all over the world. And the practical effect you can see what is already done, how they have become. There are limitations. We cannot accept anyone and everyone as disciple unless he agrees tacitly to give up some preliminary principles. Just like it is its sex life. Anyone who comes to me to become my disciple, the first condition is no illicit sex life, no intoxication, up to drinking, smoking, or even drinking tea and coffee and chewing palm. These are also intoxicants. So one cannot take all these things. No intoxication, no illicit sex. Unless you have got connection with woman by marriage tie, there cannot be any sex life. These are the pillars of sinful life. Jatrapapaschaturvidha, sriyasunapana dhuto, jatrapapaschaturvidha. If you actually want to make progress in spiritual life, you must accept at least these four principles. This is tapasya. Tapasya brahma chajjena, tyagena, sautas, sattam, sattva saucha bhyam. These are the prescriptions. So, to become purified, one must be purified of this material existence. Then he can understand what is God. Then he can serve God. With his material senses, it is not possible to serve God. That is not possible. Atha Sri Krishna Namadi Namavet Grayam Indriyai. These Indriyas, the present Indriyas, contaminated by material existence, you cannot understand by simply hearing about God. Therefore, you have to purify yourself. Sarvapadi vinir muktam tatparatena nirmalam. This is the definition given by Narad Muni. How one can become a devotee? How one can be engaged in the devotional service of the Lord? This is the formula. What is that? Sarvapadi vinir muktam. First condition. One has to give up all designation. I am Indian, I am American, I am Brahmana, I am Sudra, I am this, I am that. These are all designation of the body, but we are not this body. So if we can give up this bodily designation, that is called sarvopādhi vinirmuktam. Sarvopādhi vinirmuktam. Tatparatena nirmala. Then one has to become purified on the standard of devotional service. Unless one is engaged in devotional service, there is no question of purification. Then he will fall down. These are the statements in the śāstras. Āruja kṛcchena paraṁ padaṁ tata patanti adha. You can elevate yourself to the Brahma effulgence, Brahma gyan, Arujya Krishna, with tapasya, with severe austerities. But if you cannot understand Krishna, if you do not take shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna, then you will again fall down. Arujya Krishna, Parang Pada, Tata Patanti Adha, Anadhita Jusmat Angra. So a devotee, if you become a devotee, you will never fall down. Krishna will give you protection. Krishna says, Kauntya pratijāne hi name bhakta pranasya. He will give you protection. Otherwise you are helpless. He can fall down at any moment. But if you take shelter of Krishna, so there are so many facilities for perfection of life. Simply by accepting Krishna, Mamitam saranam bhaja. If you do not do that, then you are a mūrā, rasya. Abhajānanti mālam, mūrā, mānasim, tanmā. Param bhāvaj. How much powerful is Krishna? What He can do for me without knowing this? We do not surrender to Krishna. Therefore, it is necessary to assemble like this, to understand Krishna. This Krishna consciousness movement is there all over the world just to help the people to understand real God, Krishna. This is the purpose of Krishna consciousness movement. Because people are suffering. They are all murhas. They do not understand Krishna or they deride Krishna. Therefore, he will go on suffering 
Tara hum disata kuran kipami ajasra on the Jews. Those who are envious of Krishna, Krishna says, I put them eternally in the hellish condition of life. So if you want to save yourself from the hellish condition of life, you must take to Krishna consciousness and surrender unto Him. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.